Hello, welcome back to another video. Today is Wednesday, October 12th. It is a little bit after noon right now and I have just been finishing up packing this morning. I'm leaving for Texas at, my flight's at 4.20, but it's in Orange County, so the drive's like an hour. I'm gonna leave here around two. So I've just been finishing up getting the dog stuff ready, um, getting everything set up for them and writing out like a list and putting all their stuff out. Um, for David's coworker, Joe Mar, who's gonna come watch them. And finishing up packing, just did my skincare, brush my teeth, and finished up packing like my toiletry bag and clothes and all those things, and just kind of cleaning up the house a little bit. I did get a request from my friend to kind of go over how I pack my suitcase and my things. So I'm gonna show you guys that now because it's something that I recently started doing and I feel like it's just really, really helpful. So let me put the camera on a tripod and show y'all. For those of you who do not know, I am going to Texas for David's grandma's 90th birthday slash family reunion. He is already there um, helping his mom, you know, do the shopping and getting set up and everything. And I am obviously meeting him there. So hopefully y'all can see that okay. Um, We'll see how long this light lasts without flickering. It's out and I need to get it changed. Um, I just haven't done it yet. Okay, so this is how I do my packing. This thing right here is for toiletries. I'm sure y'all have seen this before if you don't already have it even. Um, it's from Amazon and it is honestly the best travel thing that I've ever owned. Okay, I think this angle is a little bit better. Um, I'll just go ahead and open this for you guys. Oh my God, it's gonna start flickering. Okay, sorry about the lack of light. That light started flickering, so I had to just use the natural light. Um, anyway, let me open this up. I think you can still see pretty well and get an idea of what I do here. So, this is the best thing ever. I will link this under, let's do Amazon. Maybe I'll just start a new thing and add like travel stuff. I just don't have a ton of travel stuff. Well, yeah, like my steamer and stuff. I will start a new tab on my storefront called Amazon Travel. And I will put this there. So I put all of my jewelry, lipsticks, and things here. This is like my skincare, toothpaste. No, this is, um, yeah, all my skincare, hair stuff, moisturizer, tampons, body lotion, all of that. Right here I have like allergy medicine, extra hair stuff, toothpaste, my brushes, my deodorant, things like that. And then up here are just little extras. I have my toothbrush head, um, a razor, floss, randomly some monk fruit extract drops that David wanted me to bring, and um, a little pencil sharpener for my liner, uh, nipple covers, acne patches, things like that. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. Um, and then it just closes up and I just always keep a little section off in the corner for this thing. It's so good I've used this so many times and it's still in great condition. I've had it for a long time One side is all like where I put my shoes and I have like a travel steamer. I'll also link this under uh, Travel stuff. This is all of my makeup. I really should put that in my backpack just in case something happened, but um, I always just put my makeup right here and then I have my curling iron. I am bringing self tan when I bring my self tanner. This is the Bondi Sands ultra dark mousse that I love so much. Um, it's linked under skincare and beauty. I wrap the top in a paper towel, like where the lid is and then fold that up. And then I wrap it in a plastic bag in case it leaks or anything. And that always works. I just got this. It is one of those like little hair waver things that you sleep in overnight. It's like, I think people used to do it with the robe and then now they made these things. Um, so I'm gonna bring this so I can do my hair easily and just sleep in this overnight. Um, I'll put this under skincare and beauty as well. I got my self tanner, I got, got my curling iron, and then I just have two pairs of sandals, a bunch of belts, of one pair of heels, my favorite ever, um, nude heels from Amazon linked under my shoe Amazon shoes and some tennis shoes because we're going to be doing outdoor activity so that's this side and this little section right here I have all of my underwear and then this is what I've been doing so I've just been rolling my outfits whatever you're going to wear for that outfit put the entire thing like 
this is just a two piece set. So I fold the pants in half. I put the shirt up here at the top. That's the whole outfit besides, you know, sandals or whatever, underwear and things. And I just roll it. And every single uh, thing right here that's rolled, it has the shirt I'm wearing with it rolled inside of the pants or the shorts or whatever. If I'm wearing like a little crop top and shorts and like a button up shirt, everything is folded and rolled together so that you can eliminate a ton of extra wrinkling. And when you're wanting to grab an outfit, it's all in one thing. Um, so that's how everything is. I put all my outfits there and then I put all my loungewear and like pajamas in one section. Um, this is a hair towel. We're gonna be staying at this like resort type thing by the lake. I'm not sure, you know, how many things they're gonna have. So I figured I would bring this and I brought the hair waver thing because if I wash my hair at night, I can just put that in and let it dry and like have curls in the morning. Just, you know, kind of easy things. Then I have some bathing suits. There's the pool there, so we're gonna be swimming. And um, in the corner, so put that there. Yeah, all my outfits and things are rolled up and that makes it really easy. And then I bring in a couple hats. So I always stack my hats like this and then I put all my socks inside of my hat. And then in the corner is just like extra bras and underwear and things. So there's that. And then anytime I bring purses, I also put things inside of my purses. So this one has all of my sunglasses in them. And then this one I think has my, yeah, my self tanning mitt. So just any other little things that like I want to stay organized and I, want to stay not like broken or whatever, like my sunglasses and stuff, I'll put them inside of the purse and my sunglasses are also in little um, holders. That's pretty much it. And then I'm gonna have a backpack that will have all my camera accessories, my tripods, my computer, chargers, snacks, things like that. And yeah, that is how I pack for trips and it keeps things super organized. When you get to your location, you just have to take this out. It has a little hook, you hang it up, there's all your toiletries. Um, and then when you're ready for an outfit, you just pick it out, unroll it, grab, bring your travel steamer if you need to. This is everything I'm going to need and it's great. It always works out. So for anybody who is interested in how I pack, I hope you enjoyed that. I am going to, um, vacuum the house, finish cleaning up a little bit, go take the dogs out again and do like kind of a final check. Probably do something with my hair because it's kind of a mess and then I'll be heading to the airport here in a little bit. Okay, another packing thing I do is my backpack that I'm gonna have on the plane with me. I have this little um, pouch with just some essentials. So hand sanitizer, obviously. I have a little mini lotion. I have a ginger chew in case I get nauseous or anxious. These really help like settle my stomach. Um, have a couple of those. And then I have a little mini SPF 30 and of course chapstick. And then I have gum as well. So that's like my little, you know, kit for those things that you might need. Of course, I gotta pack some snacks. So I have late July jalapeno lime chips, which are so good and an uncrustable. <laughs> um, I have some pasta that I might eat right before I leave. I gotta leave here in about an hour. Um, so I'm gonna go take the dogs out here soon and walk them around a little bit and then grab my stuff, load up the car and then head out. This whole time, I thought I was flying out of Orange County. So I just got in my car to leave, like even way earlier than I needed to. I'm like, let me just double check. It's Ontario, which is 30 minutes away. My flight's not till 4.30 and it's a little bit before two. So I would get there at like 2.30. I, I still need to like park my car, check in and all of that, but I'm like, should I just go over there? Because by the time I do all that, it'll be closer to three and then I'll just be an hour early. So oh, I'm like, I already got the dogs all like worked up. Like they know that I'm leaving. Um, I got everything set up. So I don't know that I want to go back in and like put them through that again. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the airport. I cannot believe that. Thank the Lord I checked. I was literally about to put in maps to the John Wayne Airport. I would have shown up and missed my flight. So that's okay.
Hello y'all, I am in Texas in San Antonio. I'm at um, David's parents' house. It is almost one o'clock in the morning and um, David's mom is the person that's doing all the food and desserts, literally all the food for like 50 people for this family reunion. So the entire downstairs is like full of like cakes and snacks and hot dog buns and in like coolers and just tons of stuff. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Like she has been cooking for cooking and baking and prepping for weeks now, but like actually baking and stuff for literally an entire week. I think she's been getting up every day at like five or 6 a.m. and like prepping for this. And so we stayed up and she was finishing up more cooking and baking and stuff like that. And yeah, like absolutely insane the amount of work that she has put into this. And then like David and her and David's dad and every everyone, sorry, I am so tired. Um, they did like a bunch of grocery shopping today, ran around, like they've just been prepping for the reunion since David got here like days ago. Um, Anyway, David's in the shower now, and then I'm gonna go shower, and we are going to pass out. I was gonna self tan tonight, but it's really, really hot up here um, on the like second floor, um, and I would have to sleep in like my self tan onesie, and that would be miserable. And I really need to get, get I really need to get some sleep. So I think I'm just gonna do that tomorrow, like at the resort place after we check in. Like I'll do it tomorrow night. I don't know. I think that's probably a bad idea. Because I'm going to be so pale. I should just do it right now. I don't know. Maybe. I guess y'all will find out. Um, so the real vlogging will ha start tomorrow when the action starts happening. I didn't film too much of my travel stuff because I've been also doing like the daily vlogs on TikTok. And I have been prioritizing that over picking up my camera because that's kind of easier to take, you know, quick clips of, you know, what I'm doing and stuff and be discreet and not have to like pull out a camera and film myself so that's just easier but um tomorrow i'll make sure to pick up my camera and kind of keep you guys in the loop of what's going on this weekend it should be super fun um yeah i'm gonna go shower and get ready for bed and potentially self tan i really need to do that hello guys good morning it is thursday morning and um we are packing up all the cars we have a minivan a Jeep SUV, I'm in David's grandma's SUV, another SUV and another car. And it's, everything's gonna be completely full with games and tables and food and cooking supplies. Um, literally everything you could possibly need or imagine we have. It is so hot and so humid. And we have been like back and forth in and out loading stuff for a few hours now. Um, we're almost done though, and we're about to start putting all the cold stuff in the cars and then heading out to the resort. I have to stop at HEB, I think, to grab some more things. But let me show y'all. So, this is about to be full. That car is full. That car is full. That car is full. And then this has like all of the alcohol, drinks, tons of stuff. So that's where we're at. All right, y'all, finally in the car, heading out to the Canyon Lakeview Resort. Um, I think I already went over this, but I'm in David's grandma's car. I had to stop by HEB and grab a couple things. And then his mom and grandma are in another car and they had to stop and grab a few things. And David went on another errand and had to go get some like cakes decorated um, really quickly. And then everyone else is heading out to the resort and I'm about 30 minutes away. So I will try to film as much as I can. We literally have like five cars we need to unload and then we have to set everything up. Um, it took hours to load everything because there was just tons of stuff. Anything you could possibly think of needing, we have. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's like around 50 or more people coming. Check-in is at three, we'll be there at three. And then I think everyone just starts like slowly arriving for the rest of the evening and then we get the festivities started. 
I'll do a little tour if I can, show you guys our room, all of that. I'm gonna try and film as much as possible. Like I think I've said four times already, but it's just gonna be busy and I'm obviously gonna have to be super helpful because his mom's gonna need some help and you know, David's gonna be like organizing things and he's gonna need some help. It's really, really beautiful out here so far. If y'all have never been to like the hill country area of Texas, it is so beautiful. Um, obviously super hilly and tons of trees and like the views are great and Canyon Lake is really nice too. I'm hoping we're close enough to the lake where we can like go swim in the lake and everything like that. But there's also like a pool and um, yeah. I do not know what to expect. I'm excited to see the place because we've been planning this for months and months and months. And when I say we, I mean David um, and his parents and stuff. So this should be fun. I hope you guys are excited. Get a little insight into the David's side of his family, or get a little bit more insight into um, David's side of the family. And I personally love seeing videos and vlogs where uh, people like go spend time with family because I just feel like you get to like see a different side of them or you get like, um, yeah, just more insight on like who they are and where they come from and stuff like that. So that's always fun. Anyway, I'm gonna put my camera down, listen to some music and just like take in this alone quiet time before it's about to be a little bit crazy. It is six o'clock now. We have been doing the pack. We started packing at the house like this morning and we just now got done with unloading like all the just putting everything together it has been the longest craziest day and then everybody's been showing up i've been helping like get everybody to their rooms and i've been like the golf cart girl all day like running back and forth to cabin to cabin because each cabin has an oven and a fridge that we have to store food in for different meals it has been wild i'm so sweaty and disgusting but this is our little room and then like our bedrooms like back there bathroom but look at this view it is so beautiful and the place is super nice look at that gorgeous so there's rooms up and down and people are just kind of all over the place and then there's cabins all back there and then the event center is like over there the thing with the event center though is that it was supposed to be we knew it was going to be under construction before this reunion and it was supposed to be done and of course it's not done so they were working on it until like five o'clock today and we were supposed to have dinner at like six um so that was super frustrating it's been like wild we've been running around like crazy people so david's about to come up and we are going to like shower and change and get ready for dinner basically so i am so disgusting <laughs> I cannot wait to rinse off. Look at all these cookies Lisa made. You might be wondering, how did we get there? This is how. <laughs> this is how. Look at all the cookies. Oh my goodness. More over here. Look at them. <laughs> she made so many things. So many things. And this bed has turned into a storage bed of bread. <laughs> of bread and tomatoes. <laughs> Hello, I haven't checked in in a while. Look who's here. Hey. No, I don't need that. Yeah, you can use mine. Hey, what goes to this? We share an attachment for our toothbrushes. <laughs> you guys, David, please do a little update with me. <laughs> We're so tired. It's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, can you just give a brief overview? So we're doing this family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> that just automatically. No, it's not like a, oh my gosh, this is the worst of family reunion. It's so no, fun. No, it's fun. We're kind of like doing a lot of the prep work and set up for it and everything. So it's just like... Because it really is, I don't know, I guess not everybody loves the idea of a family reunion. I haven't seen a lot of my cousins and their kids and all that kind of stuff in like so long. So that part of it, it's really exciting. Percent yeah, worth it. It's fun. 
It's not even a thing. 100% is as high as it goes. You said a billion? Yeah. So. <laughs> 100% as high as it goes, I'm buying 100% worth it. <laughs> uh, but. It's a lot of work. There's so sure. much work that goes into it when you're like kind of running it or like kind of planning it and everything. So it's like just throwing like a massive party, three meals a day. And games, all the fridges, like, like everything. Are, so. Okay, all the fridges, look at how many. They're like mini fridges. So we were thinking like, okay, we'll, we'll disperse the, the food that needs to be cold into those fridges, but they won't fit in here. So then we had to like put them in different cabins. So there's food for every night, like in different cabins. Yeah. This battery's about to die. Anyway, it's been a It's like a take that day. food out and then put it... But basically, all of today was like the setup part. So the next few days should be like smoother, but yeah, we're very exhausted. busy today. We're exhausted. I got a shower, or at least I just need to go to sleep. sleep. Yeah, we have to sleep. sleep. I need to go to sleep. But I need to give you guys an update. Update? I gotta change this battery on the camera. I gotta go to sleep. Update? Update, we're exhausted. I need to give you an update. Sleep. Sleep. That's the update. Battery. Sleep. Battery's dead. Sleep. Our battery's dead. See you guys in the morning. Yeah. Hello guys, good morning. Um, it is Friday and this morning got up and went over to like the main cabin where David's parents are staying um, for breakfast. And then now we are putting together all of the medals for the family Olympics. That is later today or in a couple hours. What are you doing there? Just making sure that it'll fit around somebody's head. We gotta tie it in a knot. Yeah. Oh, look what we got for Grandma. 90, wow, I'm old. All right, what do you, what do you think about how should we tie it? Just do extra length and then we'll just have to tie it in the knot. Well, what if we cut it down the middle a little bit and mm -hmm. then it makes it thinner and you can like kind of tie it that way. Cool. Let's figure out what length works and then we'll just like Yeah, I was, I was cut also just thinking the string, we could tie a string around it instead of tying it so you don't have to use as much. You don't think the cutting thing would work? You try it. Uh -huh. Oh no, and then it's like, it's like Well for this one, let's tie it in and we'll give it to a little kid. With a little head. Oh my gosh. Look at their ears. What's your card? William. You want to say hi? Is your name William? No. Set! Go! You're going on the bat, Miles! This thing is so short. Oh my god, you're 
inside, inside. There you go. We can make the next one go a little faster. You guys can tie it up. Need help? Hey. Outside, inside. Outside, inside. Set. Go. Okay. Outside, inside. Got the Shelby. Hey, hey, hey! Cheater. Go. 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 Good morning, guys. It is what's today? Saturday? Saturday, yeah. October 15th. It's almost noon, and we are making some drinks, and then we're about to go play some spike ball. Anyway, I'm about to take a <laughs> shot of tequila. Hello guys, we are back home. We got back on Monday night, like probably around like 12.30 or 1 a.m. Um, our flight didn't land until almost midnight. So it was a super late night. And then yesterday, slept in until like 10 and got up and just kind of had like a lazy day, checking emails, adding a ton of great stuff to my Amazon storefront. I took the time to look at like a ton of reviews, all kinds of pictures, finding everything that's like a prime, you know, deal. 
um, finding really, really great stuff. I spent a long time looking and making sure to only add stuff that I would buy, will be buying, or had, like I said, really great reviews and photos and just like an all around good product. So I added a bunch of stuff to like my fall slash winter style section and I added like all the hair products I use to the skincare and beauty, just a bunch of stuff. So make sure to check that out. If you, you know, also a bunch of fall shoes, like all kinds of good stuff. So check out my storefront. It's always linked in the description box if you are wanting to do some fall and winter shopping or need new hair care, skincare, whatever. Lots of good stuff like I said multiple times but I was just really proud of my list because I put in so much time yesterday like you know curating it anyway and then just hanging out yesterday really didn't do much we were still just exhausted and I'm still exhausted today my work I went to Pilates this morning and just was not feeling it at all it was like taking multiple breaks <laughs> just like staring at the wall because I'm just yeah I'm kind of fried from the weekend um, but I'm about to put a podcast in or put a podcast on, throw my headphones in, and start unpacking and just getting the house back in order. Um, I need to go to the fridge, I need to do some grocery shopping either today or tomorrow. Yeah, I just gotta get back into it. Thankfully, we don't have another trip planned for a while. Well, actually, David does. Um, and then it's gonna be freaking Halloween, and then October's already gonna be over. And then we have no plans for November and we don't have any other plans until December, which that'll be great. A nice little break and have a good routine going for a while. Um, I have no idea what's all in this video or in this vlog. Um, I think I filmed a bunch of stuff from the weekend and yeah, I'm not sure, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here and I'll start another vlog either this afternoon or tomorrow, um, sometime this week and just get back into the regular vlog schedule and all of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, seeing a little behind the scenes of the family reunion slash grandma's 90th birthday and all that went into it and all the family time and everything. We had a really great time. It was a huge success and um, I loved spending time with David's extended family. I met almost everyone, you know, like from our wedding and his sister's wedding and um, you know, just various things that have gone on or other people's wedding, cousins' weddings and things like that. But there were um, a few people that I hadn't got a chance to meet yet, so that was nice to get to know them and spend time with them. And yeah, it was just a good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.